So now it's time to cut out the macrolon. Now the eagle-eyed amongst you might well notice that I've painted this frame. Um, I sort of had to get on with it because it really is Thursday now and it needs to be drying on the car for Sunday morning. It's not like a hammed up Channel 5 documentary. Dave doesn't finish Doreen's patio or something with a Geordie narrator. This is for real. So the other screen is seven inches high. Again, you'll have to believe me on that. And this was 16, so we need to go a little bit under. So I'm going to go 15 and three quarters, which I think will slide down in to the channel, all right. As well as smothering it in etch primer, I also brushed in some etch primer. I've got some really good two pack stuff. Um, that I brushed into the corners here, into the sort of nooks and crannies, so it might last a bit longer than a Lancia Beta before it falls to pieces. So let's mark up the macrolon sheet. Let's put that out of the way. Okay, pen. Now this I think is a bit longer than, yes it is, it's 17 and three quarters and we need 15 and three quarters. So let's go up seven. Uh, go do it a little way in and there. Measure twice, cut once, something like that. Usually cock it up. Um, and also it's got 15 and three quarters up here, just out of interest. There and there. Three quarters there. Right. I'm cutting the sheet this way round because this edge has been cut by me before, so it's not particularly neat. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not particularly neat. And the other edge is machine cut, so it's really quite a good finish and I can use that for the top of the screen so that goes there and there this is my air tour it's actually in nautical miles this thing so it's a well it's 109 nautical miles down there I didn't think it was that far would you um that's about it let's go and cut it out let's not cut it out right now because I forgot something the corners on the other screen are, are, are rounded off. Now, I said before that I was working round numbers and I also working literally round things because my corners are generally done round tin cans. So it's either done with a, a tin of tomatoes or a tin of sweet corn. I'm sure other sweet corns are available. Anyway, I went and measured next door by dint of holding the tins up to the job and it's a sweet corn radius. So let's do that this is the end we're going to use or edge we're going to use for the, the top so it will get um, cleaned up with glass paper afterwards anyway but we might as well cut the radiuses reasonable I need to put my glasses on to do this what a proper job it is there we go there we go off without there we go that's marked up let's go back in the kitchen I suppose I don't really need rations here except for of course if Mr. Putin drops a bomb then at least I might last half a day with my shed rations before the cockroaches take over anyway let's go cutting we're now in one of my other sheds where I have this magnificent denning bandsaw from about 1920 it's, a, it's an absolute monster I bought it off a wheelwright a few years ago. He was retiring age 93. His father had bought it in the 1930s, so it's really got some history. It's an absolutely superb piece of kit, and it has a nine-foot screaming blade with absolutely no protection whatsoever. It's, a, it's an absolute delight. Anyway, I'm not sure how noisy it'll be. Sometimes it's quite noisy when the idler cuts in. Sometimes it isn't. So let's get this thing cut out.
that was in real time it really makes a very simple job of everything it's such a super piece of kit maybe I'll make a bit of a film about some of my vintage machinery another day probably spotted the logs in the background this is the log store as well I just cut them and shove them through anyway I digress let's go back and try this in the frame good and it fits I'm going to stick it in with a black sealant I think it's a gutter sealant I've got a squeezy tube of it somewhere from when I did the other screen I'll dig it out um, but as time is of the essence I need to get this frame painted now I'm not going to uh, film painting it just imagine an idiot with a rattle can but the paint I'm going to use is this uh, smooth right well it's, it says hammerite but it's actually smooth I used it on the other one I've used it on lots of things it comes out smooth it's satin black and unlike a lot of satin blacks it does have a nice sort of satin look some of them come out a bit too matte it tends to stick pretty well too so I'm going to go and spray it now with that it's now Sunday morning at well just according to my Soviet sundial just coming up to 10 past 7 and we're leaving at 10 o'clock so I need to finish putting this together the, the Macrolon screen I cut out the other day saw that on the bandsaw so I'm just going to finish cleaning the edges up it doesn't take long just normal sandpaper and uh, so basically smooth it all off I only really need to go from there around to there anyway because the rest of it is held by the frame so it's only a, a quick and rough job <laughs> around the top where I sanded it but that all brushes off and that's why we all wear fleeces isn't it <coughs> that reason oh well good job let's try it in there we go. I actually got the frame a little bit wider than the other one but it doesn't matter there's room for the stuff to squirt in so the next thing is to squirt the stuff a new tube of stuff yesterday the screw fix I couldn't find the old tube of stuff um, it's just this gutter sealant and rather than getting it all over the screen I'm actually going to mask the edges off so let's take take the screen out just mask off the edges and then we won't have too much to clean up after all the squirting I'm going to squirt it in obviously and then sort of insert the screen so let's give that a go There we are, all masked up. I'm just sticking it out. I think it's put in about the right place. There we go. Ideal. Good. So, time to put the squirt in the uh, channel and uh, then finally fit the screen. sealing anything in the house this sort of looks like a well, mad caterpillar has been somewhere anyway it's only got to stick the thing in it doesn't have to be beautiful and it won't be seal it against moisture particularly it's just to stick it in well, there's quite a lot in there now bit of a mess let's get the side a bit really don't like this stuff at all <coughs> break that off right up here Doing to be honest, but 
on in the channel anyway. Um, so I'm in here. That's better. That was a better technique there. I should have had it pushed in a bit further. But that one's coming out. I'm actually going to go and get something and dig that one out and do it again. So we'll come back in a moment. Right, I've just dug that channel out with a stick. So <clears throat> let's get my nozzle right in. See if I can't get a better. Better squirt. I'm not going to have a first go. I think it's might maybe because it sort of leans outwards slightly too. That'll do. <clears throat> it's not meant to be brilliant. Um, so let's slide the screen in and then. Uh, on something and down into the bottom one that's where it will really grip <coughs> push it in it all squidges out a bit now <coughs> excuse me I use hotel key cards because I go all over the world for work I tend to get lots of these stupid plastic things I save them for making scrapers for epoxy and all manner of other useful things that need a bit of plastic. So you can just use them once and throw them away. So thank you, Mr. Whatever it was, this one, Marriott or whatever. That's not bad. Up there. Yeah, out there. And uh, we'll just sniff a bit off it and carry on. Let's go along the front here. And then I'll whip the masking tape off. That'll just about do it. So, uh, I can have a clean up. The other one still needs clean up, and that was done months ago. So it was sort of bodgery enough as far as I was concerned, so we got left. Right, let's go along the back. Watch up the sides. I think that will do. So <clears throat> let's take the masking tape off. just about done. I used a bit of that squirt. I wonder if I can take it back to screw fix and get a refund. Why not? So I've just pushed the car out of the shed now. Let's have a look at it. Complete. I'm very pleased. That looks it looks rather racy, rather jaunty. Let's just go around and see the other side. I push it out because uh, it's early on a Sunday morning want to be slightly neighbourly. There we are, that's, uh, that's really good. Very pleased with that. I said the other day that I thought uh, Lexan or Macrolon or whatever it's called was bulletproof. So I made a suitable target and with my trusty BSA Air Sporter air rifle attacked it. If you're an Americanist and you're watching this, we don't really do guns in the UK so I wasn't able to wander down to Walmart and buy myself some kind of school shooting semi-automatic which is probably a good thing. Let's see if uh, this Macrolon is bulletproof, or at least a BSA Air Sporter proof. Right, get it Mr. Hitler. Oh, bugger. Didn't break. Anyway, after four, four shots from my uh, air rifle, there wasn't even a mark on the Lexan, which was slightly irritating in some ways, because I was hoping to blow the Fuhrer's head off. Fortunately, he did that for us, um, so, Maybe we shouldn't be too put out. But it's good to know that if we wallop with a stone or something whilst driving, then uh, those screens are going to hold up pretty well. Anyway, thanks for watching. 
see you again soon.